runway tilt between Alexis Davis and Holly Holm. Here she is, the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Holly Holm. It was Melbourne, Australia. It was UFC 193, November 15th of 2015, when Holly Holm effectively changed her life forever. Holly Holm changed her life, but she changed the landscape of mixed martial arts. Yes. She showed that Ronda Rousey was not this unbeatable fighter that everybody thought she was to be. Went out there, set her traps with that lead left hand, used her footwork and movement to walk Rousey right into a beautiful head kick that finished the fight. A multiple-time boxing champion, amateur kickboxing background, Holly Holm is just shooting some profession. And that Rousey win still one of the biggest upsets, betting odds or otherwise, in UFC history. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meeting, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, six losses. She stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Holly, the preacher's daughter, Paul! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, 11 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Alexis Davis! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. striker and a great all-around mixed martial artist. Both of these women are extremely talented. Let's see who gains the advantage. Lands the right hand. Powerful leg kick lands. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Changes her stance. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Alexis Davis. Holm going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, huge kick to the body. Oh! Very nice leg kick there by Holm. He got the turnover in that kick. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, nice counter jab. Such a diverse striker. 
That dad big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. It's okay. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Big right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes have connected for Holly Holm. to go in a back and forth first round here. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. 90 seconds now remain in the round. Davis is attempting a rear naked choke now. guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quickly. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard, so get the half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. All right, so there's the horn, the round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? So the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Four clinching. All right, so a takedown attempt by her here, DC, but she's unable to get the fight to the ground. She's walking out. She's hurt very bad. She's on skates. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more. That's going to end the night. Big kick lands. All right, so once again, oh, she defended the takedown beautifully and scrambles back to her feet. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Davis. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, the difference in the strike is crazy. Davis gets caught by the inside leg. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Back in the clinch now. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice jab. Well, it's not considered a power shot or even a significant strike, but that jab looks pretty significant to me. When you land that jab like she does, it is a significant strike. To hell what anybody else says. Now she's got the more time. Oh, nice leg kick by in there, DC. She disguised it really well. When she gets the right moment, she drives her shit right into her pump stop. Please. 
She's starting to put together some significant body work here. Oh, right over there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to Very busy. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's got to protect that body. Ready? Ready? Fight! Yeah. 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 she did not miss there, this could be the NBC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands there. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Back and forth we go! Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You need to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Nice punch by her. There's a takedown attempt by her there. Not a great entry. What does the Olympian have to say? She has to mix it up. She has to trick her opponent to go to the spot that she wants if she's going to get this fight where she needs it to be. Again, back into this position. And there comes the separation now. Oh, she continues to work the body here to great effect. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. There's no tail on that leg kick. Ooh, oh! big shot there. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. This is where you don't want to be, though. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful. When Davis's submission game is underrated, she goes for the triangle here. Oh, nice. Now she's in trouble. Side control now. We'll see if she can dole out some damage. A lot of fighters would prefer the half guard. She does pretty good work here. She does great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. She's very heavy with her top half. So she doesn't worry about the opponent escaping. And this side control is very good for her because she wants to wear on you. She wants you to try to carry all of her weight with your upper body and make a mistake that will lead to a fight ending finish for her. So a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got through. You ready? You ready? Fight. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. That's a really strong leg kick there by Hollywood. Lynch. Fighters in this division get knocked out by that strike. Near perfect execution. She found a little crack in the defense and found a home for that strike. Landed flush, and that is another one for the highlight reel, but few prettier than that one as she gets the big knockout win here tonight. 
Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. We get the official decision with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Buffer. is called to stop for this contest at 29 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Holly the Preacher's Doctor. There she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll